Assalamu alaikum. Uh, hello, how are you doing? I hope that you are fine, especially the Muslims in the month of Ramadan. I hope from the God to accept your uh, your fasting. So today, uh, and uh, depending on the question of my friend, I will uh, explain the methodology on how we can extract the the black, the black peripheral sides of uh, Landsat images. I'm gonna to show you an example for that black uh, sites. When we download uh, Landsat images from uh, from the official sites like uh, the site of USGS point, point gov point uh, US, we are going to receive uh, images like that. So, as you see here, there are black sites which we don't need and which we have to extract from our images to well develop our work so today I'm gonna to explain to you how to extract those uh, black sites so first of all you need to use global mapper here is uh, simple you can do the, uh, this work on uh, directly on ArcGIS but for me, uh, and simply, I try to use Global Mapper because I, uh, I get habits uh, of, of this software. So, uh, starting by uh, the digitizer tool here, and I need to go to the four extremes of the used. I will activate create new area feature and try to delineate the used images or image like here trying to be precise to well extract the desired image and I will close now the square or the polygon like here and right click and for example limits limits extents And okay now I will go to open control center deactivate the Landsat image and here and as you see the, this is the polygon which we have created so what I need I need to go to uh, I need to click so escape in the keyboard and go to file and to select the polygon first then go to file and export vector data and export shape file export areas for example landsat accents and save export bounds select crop to selected area and ok so now I need to go to ArcGIS. I need to open the desired Landsat or the original Landsat images from the source file. For me, I have it in the D or gear Landsat images. So this is. Uh, I will open the. For example, I will try to open it. I'm gonna apply uh, on just one example, and you can try on the, the others files. For me, I'm gonna just to show you uh, how to use or the methodology how to. Uh, for me, I will use this colored image, which you are seeing here. So I will deactivate the others to facilitate the work or this 
so this is uh, this is the image which I need so this is the image of Landsat which I will uh, which I will use so uh, to uh, to do my work I need to open the the shape file which we uh, which we uh, gener which we have generated uh, from global mapper I'm talking about the extents of uh, used image so I will go to open the extents Landsat extents like here as you see here there are some uh, gap between the image it's depending on the precision but it's not a problem generally uh, depending on the precision so what I need to do now is to uh, go to search here and type mask okay and go to extract by max mask now I'll need to select the multispectral which I'm talking multispectral I'm talking about the image the original image of Landsat which I will need, which, are, which I will uh, use. So, uh, multispectral depend on the choice, and and for input raster or feature mask data, I will use the Landsat accent. Then I'll type OK. I need to wait some minutes so after a few minutes I will receive the result or the desired result as you see here so to see the desired result, I need to deactivate Landsat Extent, and I need also to deactivate Multispectral. I'm talking about the original Landsat image. I need to go to Extract. It is the resulted uh, image, and I need to right-click and zoom to layer. So this this is the result, as you see here. You are also you are going to observe that the color is different so I need to right click and to go to priority priority and to go to histogram equalize then I'll type OK also you are going to desire to, to observe that uh, the resulted is uh, is not in the same place of the original Landsat image it's not superposed or georeferenced so what I need also I need to also right click priorities and go to accents and set the accent to the I need to choose the original Landsat which I need which I, which I used so multispectral and go to apply and ok now then I will activate the original to, to see the or just uh, that is in the same position so as you see here that uh, the both images I'm talking about the original and the resulted from masking procedure are in the same place as you see here and 
like this you are going to uh, you are going to uh, avoid or uh, to uh, erase uh, the black peripheral sides in the original landsat images so if you have two or three or depending on your using or depending on your study region yeah, if you have you need to or you have to to use the same procedure and finally you need just to select the resulted images and to open it in the same in the same uh, uh, sheet work and you are going to receive global Landsat images Landsat image so I hope that uh, the tutorial was clear and uh, I hope to be uh, I hope to to succeed also to uh, to realize it if if there are any questions or, or you can uh, ask uh, me uh, in my uh, in my channel on YouTube so uh, I hope to take care of yourself uh, and assalamu alaikum